The sea we made is licking our memories off the ground. Large chunks and tiny grains of salt break off from the rocks and ships and tunnels. The salt then scramble. What remains is falling apart, crumbling. If the shaft collapses over you now, it will take Mr. Sitvin months to save the Adel Sea. Our son is your only hope. Why would he climb the drill ship? I must assist him. He will not complete our mission without me. This man is only doing your bidding. But it is of his own choosing. Sit with. <laughs> I have found you. What are you doing here? Of course. Jumagod, your grandson is climbing the drill ship. Why? I don't know. Give me the grapple. Wait, what about the grapple? All right. Ah, oh, there we go. Brace yourself. <laughs> not in this life, not with this body. I will fasten this somewhere. There. <laughs> Neat, I can switch between characters. Let's give myself some light here. What does he plan to do? He seems intent on uh, completing our mission. But why is he heading up? Ustrovsky and the baby are down in the shaft. He knows this. Oh no. What do we what do we do now? Well, whatever I do, I apparently do not go through this door. Or I do, but with the other character. Do I need to do this so I throw him the grapple or something? That'd be kind of strange. C can't I just go through the... What am I supposed to do? I'm very confused. Doesn't reach anything of use. I suppose I could throw it to him from... from here. Okay. How do I... Why couldn't I go up? I'm pressing up, but... Oh, I need to anchor it. What the hell? Hmm. Interesting. I in interesting phenomenon happening here. Uh... What? What? Okay, didn't mean to do that. Hey then, try that again. Right. 
Right, so it appears there's nowhere to anchor it here, so maybe this is not where I'm supposed to take him? What? I could go back there to the right, but then what? Right, can't go that way. What about up? Where does this go? Right. So, are you telling me that I need to just keep getting him up level by level? I don't... I don't even know where I am now. Where's the door back? Here we go, okay. I'm just gonna fall, because I don't care. Alright, so let me just be sure that that's what I'm supposed to do. So you do that, you anchor him, of course. And then we do the same thing on the next level up. Because I can't use doors. Is this what he wants to do? So that was the puzzle. That's what I was supposed to do. Is continue to grab his grapnel thing and help him up because Nikolai is apparently incapable of operating doors? What? I don't... I don't even know what to make of that. That makes precisely zero sense. Not even 1% sense. It makes 0% sense. Why didn't he just follow him and use the doors like a normal person? Okay. Or is it what you want him to do? Hmm. Where do I go from here? There's some wires over to the right, but they don't look like the kind I can grab onto. Uh, not that way. Well, actually, I found a bird. Oh my god, this is a gash. In the hole. Can you imagine how sharp that would be? Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Is this what he wants to do? Oh, I have to actually get the bird again? Alright, alright, I'll do it again. Or is it what you want him to do? Ha! 
Right, so I guess the best I can do is just run to the right and hope there's something to grab onto. Uh, okay. Can I operate doors now? Nope. I'm still incapable of that. I guess I was... From birth, I've had this class. I've just always been a grapnel dude. When I was a little baby, I had a grapnel. I can't operate cars. I can't write. I can't use any... I, I can't use any tool other than a grapnel. No wrenches. No hammers. Just my grapnel. I operate everything with a grapnel. That is my life. Do I seriously have to continue taking him up because he's unable to use doors? Do I really have to do that? What is this? Workers who are not vaccinated, watch out for signs of anthrax. Blackened wounds and cuts. Caused by spores entering through wounds in the skin. Mostly harmless. But should be reported and treated to avoid death. Nausea, stomach pains, vomiting, diarrhea. Caused by eating infected meat. You may be treated, but you are not... You are not unlikely to die. Mild fever, muscle aches, sore throat. Might be a sign that you have inhaled spores into your lungs. You'll experience chest pain and breathing difficulties. And soon the spores will enter your bloodstream and poison you to death. Oh, that's, um, cheerful. Wonderful, I feel uplifted now. Going the right way. I don't think so. I'm just gonna fall. See, I'm fine. It's the hat. It saved me. Actually, is there a way up there at all? I don't believe there is. I mean, other than the chain, which I don't think I can climb. So, what am I doing? Let me switch characters. Oh yeah, there's no light. Hmm. Okay, that's got a catch, right? No, apparently the grating on the floor, or... Yeah. The floor, the grating, the chain, apparently all of that is, uh, slippery. That doesn't help anyone. Oh, there we go. I need light. Then give me the grapnel. Uh, what? Why? Oh, you're gonna come up to me. Or something. <laughs> oh, you're fine, don't worry. Oh, I need to switch back to him, right? Switch. Sw sw switch. Or, I... Well done. Oh, okay. What have you said to him? I have not said. But he knows. He knows about his mother. 
Is she dead? I am sorry, Jumaku. Were you close? I'm not sure that's going to take me where I need to go. Hmm. Right, uh, things I learned today. Apparently grapnels do not cannot grapple into sand. As much as I would like it to be so, it is simply not. Hmm. That's unfortunate. But I know how to get myself out of this mess. Alright. And we do that, and we do that, and you grab the grab... No, try again. Try again. No, uh, try again. Nope, try again. Nope, not quite right. Almost. Nope. 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 Please, can you, can you please just take it? Look. I, why do I even throw this? I can just hand it up to you. Just, please take it. Actually, I might be able to just do this. Okay, that's better. Okay, I think I actually need to hand it down to him. Maybe. I'm not sure we're supposed to get this close to the edge. Ah, oh, there we go. Why did she die? I dug her grave. You can blame me if you like. If you can find my grandson without killing him in the process, I might not. Come on. No. Good enough. I can't. I can't move as him. I can move his flashlight, but I can't move his feet. This might be a problem. Oh god. Uh Was I supposed to do that? I I can't move him. Is it bugged, or...? Can I move if I give you this? Wait for now me. you can move, okay. I think... Okay, uh... Right.
Uh, am I in the right area? I mean, there's a hole. I don't, I have no idea where that hole actually is. What? This game is extremely confusing. I guess I'll just swim back now. This is a perfect time to have a drink of tea. Mmm. Delicious cold tea. Right. That was a fascinating underwater adventure. Hello, birdie. Kaka. Is that where I need to go? Uh, I haven't the faintest clue what I'm supposed to do. I just came from there, didn't I? Yeah. Like, where, where am I supposed to go? Maybe here, maybe I can get them up. Right, got it. Anchor it. Except there's nothing to anchor it to. Certainly not up there. I don't even know where we're trying to get to, let alone how to get to the place I don't know where to get to. Oh, hi, we're back here. I know it was taking you to the left. So, like... I'm on the right track here, but from here, where? Okay, I see an anchor up on the top right, but did we just come from there? I know we just came from the right, I'm not sure if we came from up there. Maybe? Let me see if I can find my way over there. I think I need to go up 
two levels, right? Yeah, I think so. There's no doorway. There's probably gonna be too many levels. There's still no doorway. Maybe I go to the left to go to the right. Okay, I guess I did the right thing. <laughs> right then. I forgot to press space there for a second, which may or may not have killed me. In retrospect, I'm thinking it probably killed me. Maybe. Maybe. Apparently that's also where I was supposed to go. Oh god, we're back here. Well, at least I know I'm in the right area. Over there. Prove yourself to me now, Sitvin. Okay, let me think. Wait, so Sitvin needs to get me over there? Uh... Well, I know I can anchor onto this thing. I'm not sure, sure if that's gonna work. Um, <laughs> is that gonna work? I feel like that's not going to work. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's not going to work. Wonderful. And once again, I'm incapable of moving. No. No. can't move. Still can't move. Okay, he's tying it to the ground. Why? I still can't move him. Why have I suddenly lost control of one of my characters? I don't understand. I, I do not understand. I don't understand anything that's happening. I don't understand the controls. I don't understand why this man can't use doors. I don't understand why this guy randomly freezes up and is unable to move. If confusion went up to, was like a bar that could go up to 10, my confusion level would be outside of the bar. It would have broken through the top of it, or through the side of it, depending on how you want to look at it. And now it's at 11, or 12, or more.
Like, once again, I don't know if he's just bugged or what. Once again, you hook it to the ground. Why? Stop doing that. Okay, I mean, I could... I could climb on an invisible wall, I guess. I could lower myself down. Why? I just came from down here, that's stupid. I'm amazed I haven't raged yet, but I'm like really, really close. Right, well clearly this is where I'm supposed to go. I, I can't even climb up these things, because I'm incapable of using my hands to open doors or climb up chains, but I can use ladders. I can use ladders, just not chains. Like, did I just break the game? Right, let's reset to where you things are to supposed to be. Over there. Prove yourself to me now, Sitlin. Okay, let me think. Right, so I can't actually get to the right on my own, correct? But the red thing on the ground is where I need to anchor him. I can only anchor him if I'm already over there, so how do I get there? He can swing. I mean, I can swing. My current character can swing. But... Dear God. Okay. Alright, 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 alright. I can give it to him for all the good it does. I'm alive. I'm coming up now. I apologize. That was a mistake. <laughs> I understand. That's what I was supposed. Oh, all right. Oh, look at this door that I can't use. Can we do this now? Okay. 
Okay. I made it. I made it. Thank God. Am I... Please tell me I'm done with that. They are your tools of the greater good. Together against each other, they will save this world. Still too far. I need more altitude. More altitude? For what? Oh. Let's go back up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Calm down. No. 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 Yep. Just. Sure. Do that. They are your tools of the greater good. Together against each other, they will save this world. I think I need to go to the helipad. Still too far. I need more altitude. So I'm gonna make like the biggest jump ever to go down there. The biggest dive. Ooh, that is gonna be extremely dangerous. Can it work? Can it do it? Diving from that altitude? We cannot allow it, Sidvin. Of course. We must move fast. I know I can do this. All I need is a running start. Okay. Here we go. God, this is dangerous. This is so, so, so dangerous. Let's do it. Yeah. What have you done, Emilio? We must give up this nonsense. We will talk you out of it, force you out of it if we have to. Your son could have made that jump without hesitating. Mine would not. Oh, I can't switch characters anymore. Emilio! Calm down here. It's alright. This is not your business. Is not my business and not yours. Wait, what? This is taking place right before he jumped, but I just played right before he jumped and he never s talked to him. I don't understand. Are they revising the history I just played? W what? She is my mother. It will be all right. Ha! Mr. Sitvin. Ostrovsky. We will be needing your assistance by the excavation shaft in approximately ha! ten minutes. No! Sitvin, we must stop him. <sighs> Stand aside, Sitvin. You know that I will not. You have taken Altabek from us. You have taken Yeliana. You will not take Emilio. The mission, Jumagola. She demands it. And this time, this time alone, I will not fail her. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? You can use your grapnel, huh? Using your grapnel to trip an old man. There's space to catch the grapnel. What am I gonna do with it? 
Uh, okay, thanks for the grapnel. Uh, yeah, take that. I meant to do that, totally. We have to see where this leads. Amigo, I know you're up there. Whatever he told you, don't listen. You're only a child. <laughs> Do I just keep infinitely stopping him? Oh no you don't. Actually yes you do apparently. Yeah, take this that. Choice is his, not ours. Now I'm playing as him again. Okay. Emilio, my boy. You can die if stay, Ostrovsky. Emilio, do not go anywhere. It is not your duty. Now I'm him again. Oh, God. Yes, that didn't work out for either of us. It's only you and me now. Wait for me. Ostrovska. I'm coming. Two discarded. One remains. And he will dive to the other end of the chestboard. The baby. Okay, so now I jump again? Uh, let's go! Some air. There we go, got some air. I see bubbles. Is that is that her? Breathing? Yeah, this is the shaft. This is the where I'm oh, I'm almost there. I'm also almost out of breath. There she is. Ah! Oh no, oh no no no. Need air. I got her. How long has she been down there for? Dear God, how could she possibly still be alive? Like, hours? It feels like it's been hours. Actually, in literal, in literal real-world time, it actually has been hours. Back to the world where you belong. And do whatever it is you have to do. Is she alive? We keep her face cold. It will be enough. Enough for what? This is what she wants to do, trust me. You claim to know her well? She lived for this. Oh, will she die for it? We will let her decide, okay? Not a choice. She has been without oxygen for too long. I apologize. But it is the only truth I can tell. I cannot believe you did this, Sitvin. Neither can I. I think she moved a little. Ostrovska? Ostrovska! Can you hear me? Just nod to me if you can. She moved. Wait. I have prepared for your mission. Your son tells me the charges are still active. But they are deep underwater. If 
you cannot fulfill the mission, Ostrovska, you have my word that I will assemble a diving team. One train to handle the explosives like we were not. But you know, the suffering our sea will endure in the meantime. Your time draws near, but there is still a chance. No one should die like that. This one time she lives for herself. Be free in your final moments. We are here with you. Are we not, Emilio? Can you stand? The end of the mission we have shared, it draws near. The RLC will return, and your name shall be remembered for it. Wait! Ostrovska, wait! There is no time! Tell me what to do, Ostrovska. Where to go next? I think I'm gonna be lost. I just... I just want you to stay with me. Isn't there any way you can stay? I don't mind if you're in a wheelchair or if you can't talk back to me. I just want you to exist. There was a time for that. But it is gone, Emilio. It is too late. I know. You can save the Aral Sea. Her eyes. She is fading. Do you hear me, Ostrovska? It is either never or now. I'm, I'm sorry, what, what do you want me to do? I appear to be alive, but apparently I'm basically Ostrovska. dead. Are you... Nikolai... This ship... Is it Emilia? It is her. He was right. But... The work... What do I... Where do I go? All of this, I did so that... I know. I am sorry, Nikolai. Goodbye. Emilio? Ostrovska? You have my approval. For what? For anything. I want you to do anything. Can you do that for me? I think so. Thank you. Thank you, Emilio. I don't understand. You have saved the world. If you could see my face right now, I I am so confused about everything that just happened in basically the entire game. What I um what huh? Like, I want to take a picture of my face so you can see it right now. I feel like my expression captures all of my thoughts. Uh, okay, um... So, as usual, I like to analyze games and do a little post-mortem type thing, I guess, after playing it. And I shall do so. I'm trying to think of where to start. Ah. Uh, Okay. Right. So, let me mention again what I came into this thinking. So, I played their previous game, which I believe was their first game, They Breathe, and it was extremely good. It was extremely good. I think it's a brilliant game. The, the design of it was so elegant and perfect, and in such a small package, somehow it just... it was brilliant. So I was hoping for... 
you know, something kind of like that in that same sort of vein with this. And it's very, very different. It's very different. I mean, I wasn't expecting the same sort of game, but... Hmm. And I'll talk a little bit more in just a second. Let me see if there's a credit, a scene after the credits or something. Aww. Oh my god, his hair is crazy. That is some wild hair. Which I guess fits his wild personality, doesn't it? That's actually a really beautiful picture. Uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I was really excited for it because of, you know, They Breathe and how much I liked it. I'm sad to say I didn't really like it. I really wanted to. I really thought I would. I didn't. But let's delve into why. But before doing that, let's, um... I want to go over what I did like about it. Okay, so just as... Well, it's got basically the same visual style as They Breathe, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. They Breathe was a pretty damn good-looking game. And it's the same case here. I think, um... I think the weak point with the graphics would just be the characters. The characters look kind of iffy. But the backgrounds are actually really good-looking. Yeah, I really like what they did with the backgrounds. The feel of it, the way they've captured the... The the desert, all the things blowing in the wind, uh, the sand, the way they capture decay, and... I mean, just look at this. I'm on board of a, a ship right now. Look at how everything's destroyed, just like gashes in the walls, and dirt and grime, and broken glass, and sand is falling through the, the ceiling here. And how populated all of the living spaces were with... Beer bottles and magazines and just stuff strewn about. Yeah, the attention to... To detail in the art... In the backgrounds is really impressive. I thought these sounds were pretty damn good. And the voice acting was also pretty damn good. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yeah. I like that it's about the Errol Sea, because before playing this game, I actually, I actually knew literally nothing about it. Not a single thing. I didn't even know it was a thing. Which I guess speaks to how ignorant I am, but I really like the fact that it just goes into it. Because I got to learn something new. I didn't know anything about it. Now I do. I think that's really cool. So I think those are the biggest things I like. I like the background arts. I like the fact that it's about this interesting thing that I didn't know anything about. Voice acting is pretty good. Um, I like some of the ideas they were trying to do. Such as the fact that you can switch between characters and you get to play a bunch of different characters. And they try to make them all kind of like one character meets another one. And then you play the other character, kind of like at that point, like all the storyline kept converging, like coming together and then going apart and then coming together. And it kept switching back and forth. I like the idea. I think it's interesting. There's a lot that you could do with that. But when it came to the execution of it, I didn't like it at all. It was really confusing. So they tried to have different gameplay mechanics for each character, which they do. You have the older guy who can go through doors and who has the flashlight. And then you've got Nikolai who can use his grapnel. However, he's he's literally incapable of using doors apparently, which doesn't make any sense at all. That is so silly. And then you have uh, Emilio, who obviously is the acrobatic dude who can jump around and climb on ledges and whatnot. 
and dive very, very far, and hold his breath for a long time. So again, I like that they tried to vary it up. I think that's a cool idea. You know, varied gameplay, explore a bunch of different ideas. Mm, however, in execution, I'm pacing back and forth here because it helps me think. In execution, again, I don't like how it came together. The mechanics I thought were forced, such as the example of Nikolai not being able to use doors, which was utterly absurd. It's like they came, you know, it feels like these, they came up with these different roles for the classes. They do, you know, the guy with the flashlight who can open doors, the guy with the, the, the grapnel, and then the kid who can climb on ledges and whatnot, and then, and then it's, it's like it was too, it's like they forced the roles rather than the roles feeling natural. It just feels like it's forced. It just felt very, very strange and uncomfortable. And made me scratch my head a lot. Like, okay, I'm the guy with the flashlight. Why can't I just hand the flashlight to the other guy? Okay, I'm the guy with the grapnel. Why can't I just go through the door? You know, why? I mean, heck, why can't the guy with the grapnel climb his way up chains? You know, I get why the older guy can't do it. He... Maybe he's too weak. But certainly Nikolai isn't too weak. He's using the freaking grapnel to get himself around. It just, it's really strange. Um, and to make it even more strange, the different gameplay mechanics, the, the way that you control them and the way that they worked were really awkward. Uh, the least awkward being, of course, the, the older guy because he doesn't really... His, kind of, his stuff doesn't really involve physics too much. He basically just walks around and shines his light. So that's pretty simple. You know, move around and move up to move your light up, move down to move your light down. Pretty simple. Uh, that was straightforward. But when it came to Emilio and Nikolai, not so much. I played this game for... Look at my timer, almost three hours. And at no point... In the entire game, did I ever feel comfortable with the controls? I was fighting with them from the beginning to the end. The controls, which are not rebindable. Here's the here's the settings menu. Which is integrated into the world, as you can see. It's not a traditional menu. You have language. And you have subtitles, and you have erased data. And that is it. You cannot rebind the controls in any way. At least not through the menu. I don't know, maybe there's like an INI or something that you can modify, but... Yeah. The controls that you cannot rebind... ...are very strange. It's not just that they're assigned to strange things, although that certainly didn't help, but it's also just that the controls are kind of convoluted and weird. And the way the characters move... ...is really strange. I mean, the simple act of playing Emilio... ...and trying to grab onto ledges is... ...bizarre. Such as the fact that the up... ...button is jump. And space, which is what I'm used to using for jump in 99% of games, space was grab onto ledges. It, I mean, that just, that never felt right. It felt horrible to begin with, and it felt horrible at the very last minute of playing him, the last time I got to play him. It never felt right. I was constantly fighting it, and it was really frustrating. I never, I never felt in control of the characters, really. It's always just, how do I do this again? Like, if you want to jump up on something and climb up, you have to hold up to jump, and then you have to hold space to grab onto the ledge, and then you have to release up, and then you have to press up again to climb up. That's just weird. It's just really, really strange. I never felt good. And the worst character to control was definitely Nikolai and his grappling hook, which was just, oh my god. Controlling that thing was... Really, really, really uncomfortable. I thought it'd be cool at first. I mean, you get to play with physics. You're getting to play with a grappling hook, and grappling hooks are awesome, let's face it. They're really, really cool. And of course, almost any physics-based sort of interaction in the game is always fun. I'm sure a lot of people have played and, and seen Gary's mod and stuff like that. It's really fun to play with physics. And I thought it was going to be, but once again, it wasn't. 
mostly because of controls, but also partially because of the wonky physics. So when it comes to the controls with Nikolai, uh, choosing how far to how far to throw your grapnel and in what direction is really frustrating. You would hold down space to start throwing it, and then you move the arrow keys in the direction that you want it to go. So if you do space into the right, it goes more to the right. If you do space... Did I just do new game? I think I started a new game. Oh no. Oh no. Stop. Stop. No. <laughs> um, yeah, you press space, and then you move the arrow key in the direction you want. You know, space and then up to kind of shoot it generally upwards. Space and right to do it generally rightwards, but it wasn't perfect. And when you're dealing with something as exacting, something that needs such exact aim as a grappling hook, it's really important to have fine control over it, and you don't. Even, like, if you're facing to the right, and you pressed up, it actually wouldn't go directly up. It would go up and a little bit to the right. If you're facing left and you did up, it'd go up and a little bit to the left. Like, it's just really strange. With, some, with such a free-flowing sort of um, thing as a grappling hook, where you're going to want more than just a couple directions to be able to throw it in, I think what you really need is mouse support. I mean, this game does not have mouse support. My, my mouse doesn't exist in it. And I'm just thinking how much smoother it would have been if I could shoot the grappling hook exactly where I aimed my mouse. And even, uh, even the old guy, if I was able to choose exactly where I wanted his flashlight to be, just by aiming in the direction. Like, I'm thinking of uh, the Swapper, for example. Where your character's always aiming directly where your mouse is. And that would have felt so much more in control and so much more satisfying. To have, you know, be able to shoot the grappling hook exactly where you want. But you couldn't... I, I couldn't do that, and it was really frustrating. And to make it even more strange is the fact that, uh, once again, it feels like the role of... It feels like his role of using the grappling hook was forced, because even if you... Like, if I came to a ledge where I had to get up one foot, I would still need to use the grappling hook. I couldn't just step up, even though any human being would just step up rather than throw their grappling hook, you know, to move up one foot. It's bizarre. I felt really, really strange. And once you actually did grapple to something, and there's two parts about this, so controlling your character. I mean, there's two additional parts about this. The first part is controlling the character for Nikolai and shooting his grappling hook is very... It just feels really uncomfortable, and I never got the, the hang of it, and it very inexact. But actually realizing what you can grapple is yet another challenge. It was really hard for me to tell what is sticking out and what's not. Like, what is on my plane and what is behind me? You know, something behind me, so my grappling hook is simply going to go over it? Or is it on the same plane of existence, and it's actually going to grab onto it? It was really hard to tell. And I guess that's maybe more of a level... Is that a level design? Art design? I'm not exactly sure what that would be. But it just wasn't clear what exactly my grappling hook could touch and what it couldn't. And same with... Um, the same with Emilio and what he could grapple, you know, grab onto with his hands. It wasn't clear. I had very little sense of depth. So that's problem number two. Problem number three with Nikolai is that once you've finagled with the controls and figured out how to grapple onto something, and once you actually have grappled onto something, his behavior, once grappled, is unpredictable and strange, to say the least. You would think if you have a grappling hook up, you know, you're on a rope or a wire or whatever it is, and you're hanging, you could swing back and forth. Which you indeed have to do. The problem is that you don't swing in a normal human way, you swing in some freaky way with physics from an alien planet. Where your rope or wire or whatever it is tends to get, I don't know, like, bunched up or gets too much slack and it feels like you have an invisible rocket slapped to your back and you try to move back and forth but instead you spring around like you're on a rubber band and it just doesn't behave in a predictable or satisfying way so there's a lot of problems with Nikolai how to control him how to realize what to grapple onto and the behavior once grappled 
was all just head-scratching and confusing and uncomfortable. Very, very strange. Um, the, the level design was... Well, I don't know if it's a level design, but just... What you were supposed to do in the game was also often very confusing. The biggest case being when I was back in the ship with the old guy, excuse me, I've forgotten his name. I probably couldn't pronounce it even if I knew it. And Nikolai, trying to figure out where to go and how to do it was a nightmare. It was just so confusing. And same with the story. It felt confusing and left me scratching my head. So going back to the fact, uh, going back to what I mentioned before, where I said that I think it's interesting that they tried to explore all these different angles where they're having you play as a bunch of different characters. I think that's interesting, and there's probably a good way to do that, but unfortunately, whichever way they, they did it, it ended up with me being just confused. Like, it was so back and forth, I didn't even know what was happening. Like, you're this character, and then you're that character a little bit in the past, and then you're this character, and then it seems like they revised history when Amelia was jumping off the boat, uh, off the ship. And then you're also looking at memories from the past. And... I, it was just all over the place. And then... Just the overall story, too, just... Confusing, uh, like, what happened at the end? Nikolai wanted her to do something, but he said that she's basically dead, but she wasn't dead because she was walking, and then she died? Like, what? I mean, okay, I get that she was, she was oxygen-starved for a very long time, in fact, much so long that I'm almost certain she would be, she would be dead, but... Okay, so she was almost dead. So her brain's been oxygen starved, which means it's going to start to, it's going to start to be, uh, be hurt. Like her brain's going to start to die, right? Isn't that what happens when you have no oxygen? So she's probably going to have brain damage. But obviously she didn't have brain damage so bad that she was dead because she walked. She literally walked and talked. I don't know much, much about oxygen deprivation and its effects on the brain. I'm not a doctor. But once she's breathing and walking, wouldn't there be no further damage to the brain? So, wouldn't she have been... okay? I mean, she might have had long-lasting damage, but wouldn't she have probably stayed alive? I, I don't know. I just found that really strange. I mean, if she was right on the verge of death, I think I'd find it believable. But people on the verge of death usually don't stand up and walk and talk. That usually doesn't happen, right? I mean, she was getting oxygen. She was breathing. You can't undo brain damage, but as long as you're getting oxygen, it's not going to get worse. Or... I don't know. It... Very, very strange. This entire game just left me scratching my head. In almost every possible way. So, yeah, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit disappointed. Because I, I was hoping for another game that I'd really love, like They Breathe. But, I mean, look, you can't hit it out of the park all the time. It happens. It's not that big of a deal. I still think The Working Parts is a really cool company. I still think... I think this is an interesting game. I think it's a bit of a mess. It's, it's definitely a mess, but... I still think it's an interesting game. 
And, I, like, I don't regret playing it. I do think I got something out of it. If for nothing, if for nothing else than just a, a nice sense of, of place of being in this environment, and some knowledge about the Aral Sea. If nothing else, I've at least gotten that. But yeah, I mean, I think they're a really cool company. Um, I loved They Breathe. I think it's a brilliant little game. And I'm still really looking forward to see what they do next. I think they deserve a lot more exposure for the work they've done. They definitely do. I mean, I've never... On the sites that I've read, like the, the gaming news sites that I read, I've never seen a single mention of Residue or They Breathe. So I, I would really like them to get more exposure. I think they really deserve it, and I hope that happens. Yeah, I really wish them the best, and I really hope they keep making interesting games. Because I'll definitely be checking out whatever they make in the future. So, there you go. Yeah, I think that's a decent wrap-up. I feel pretty good about that. It definitely wasn't what I was expecting. It was an interesting game. A bit of a mess. But, yeah, there you go. There was my experience with Residue. I hope you enjoyed through my frustrations and all of the strangeness. I hope it was still enjoying. Uh, enjoying. I hope it was still enjoyable, rather. And thank you for watching.